Hi, this is Dr. Shore again. I'd like to tell you about an interesting case I had regarding a persistent urinary tract infection. A woman was sent to me with several years worth of UTIs which just would not go away. She had been on multiple courses of antibiotics and the culture showed a bacteria that was multi-drug resistant and only susceptible to IV antibiotics. The doctor recommended that she, that she be admitted to the hospital, have a PIC line or an IV catheter inserted, and that she would have that long term. When she came to me, the first thing I wanted to determine was, was this truly a urinary tract infection or was it contamination? When I determined this, uh, by performing multiple urine cultures, both voided and catheterized, I determined that these were, in fact, true urinary tract infections. Not only that, the organism was the same organism every single time. This indicates a condition known as a persistent urinary tract infection. Persistent urinary tract infections are usually caused by a an anatomic defect or an anatomic condition that provides safe harbor for bacteria. Uh, in this particular instance, the woman had bladder diverticuli or pouches uh, or pockets outside the bladder. When her bladder would empty, these pockets would fill up with urine and would never empty. Uh, and uh, there was no way for any antibiotics to get in there and uh, wipe out the, the bacteria uh, that were present in, in the pockets. Other causes of bacterial persistence are kidney stones. And in the same week I had another woman with a bacterial persistence that had a kidney stone uh, uh, and no other anatomic reasons. Uh, so the f number one thing when evaluating a person with urinary tract infections is to determine if they are in fact UTIs and this is by good quality collected urine specimens and then to determine if this is from an anatomic cause or defect such as a kidney stone or inadequate bladder emptying or bladder diverticulum particular that form in other parts of the urinary tract such as the kidney. I, thought, I found this case to be very interesting and professionally very gratifying. Thank you very much.